Hello everyone, and welcome to today's weekly music news update. This is going to be my first video of this type, so if you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ram your head into that like button. Actually, you probably don't do that because you probably break your phone or your computer or whatever you're using. Anyways, let's jump right into it. First article we have right here, John Legend, Garth Brooks, Katy Perry, Justin Timberlake, and more to perform. Lady Gaga and Jennifer Lopez will co-headline the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden on Wednesday. The day features a variety of performances from other musical artists. So this is a day old. A lot of these articles have already happened, but this will mostly just be an update if you miss any of this. This has to do with politics, but also has to do with music. So we're going to just read it real quick. Trump pardons Steve Bannon, Lil Wayne, and final clemency flurry. So Bannon and Lil Wayne were two of dozens of people granted clemency by Trump just hours before the end of his term. Moving on. Phil Spector, legendary record producer and convicted murderer, has died at age 81. The famous, even infamous, producer known for his wall of sound died Saturday. He produced records for the Renettes, Ike and Tina Turner, as well as the Beatles, among many others. Moving on to the next one. Sullivan Sullivan, New York Dolls guitarist, dies at age 69. Sullivan's rhythm guitar playing was the foundation of the raw, hard-driving sound of the New York Dolls, who presaged punk and new wave and influenced generations of musicians. This one we kind of already read. This was on the 14th. It was talking about Lady Gaga performing in uh, the inauguration. After missing last year, 2021 Kennedy Center honors are announced. COVID canceled the Kennedy Center Lifetime Achievement Awards in 2020. Today, the center announced that the show will go on in May 2021, honoring five extraordinary performers. NPR's classical music editor previews two albums you'll want to hear. NPR's resident classical music specialist Tom Huizenga previews two of the albums he's looking forward to spending his time in in 2021. Car Concerts offers choirs a way to rehearse and perform. This car choir solution is one that accomplished by baritone David Newman came up with so that the ensembles could sing together. This method uses microphones, a mixer, an FM transmitter, and car radios. Tracy Chapman wins lawsuit against Nicki Minaj. According to the suit, Minaj re-recorded the lyrics and vocal melody to Chapman's song, Baby Can I Hold You, without permission. Minaj will pay the singer-songwriter $450,000 in order of judgment. And the last one we're going to read is 2021 Grammy Awards postponed due to coronavirus concerns. As Los Angeles experiences a significant increase in new COVID-19 infections, the Recording Academy and CBS decided to postpone the annual music awards until March 14th. And that was this week's music update. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment that down below and let me know what kind of videos you'd like me to focus on in the future. Until then, take care and stay safe.